Wow. So. What is up, everybody on YouTube? Back with another one, and I'm so excited for these. Uh, this is the first time I've got a W on Sneakers app in a real long time. So I figured I would uh, let you guys see the unboxing here again. Got it up on the little rack here. I like to stand and do this, you know? But man, I am, couldn't be more excited for these. Uh, of course, you know from the title of it, but haven't seen these in hand yet. Haven't uh, had a look at them. So we'll do it first here together. Uh, let's get this out of here. Boom. So you see the box, the new, newer, what, last year, two years ago, SB box now. Uh, and it reads Nike SB Dunk Low OG Quick Strike in a size 11. I'll give you some uh, up close, of course, shots here of it once I get it uh, all pulled out. I'm just so happy to get a W, man. I can't, can't express it enough. Oh my God. Whew, I love these so much. So of course we have the Medicom and Nike Dunk SB Low. Man, I love these. So Medicom Toy, of course, is a Japanese toy maker. Uh, they've collabed with, uh, with Nike for almost 20 years. I think 2002, they first came out with uh, a pack of toys. And then 2004 was the first shoe. And they've had, let me get, let me get this out of here first. So you're not seeing me moving all around here. Medicom toy, uh, again, first collab 2002, just with toys. It was their, um, I think they did four or five uh, toys off the, off Nike's first pro riders on their team. Uh, and then 2004 came out with their first uh, SB Dunk collab with Medicom, which honestly I wasn't a big fan of. I the, Out of the SB Dunks they've collabed with, which is I think like five or six now, this is my favorite one. They've had, I think five. Uh, the first one was like a white and blue colorway with a little bit of orange, almost like a Bronco colorway. Uh, in, in my opinion, and then just more solid colorways. These came out, uh, close, closely came out in 2011 as a Air Force One. So 2011, uh, Medicom collabed with Nike again on a Air Force One that had the pony hair upper, uh, still white on the back pull tab here. And they came with a black pair and an all white pair, basically the opposite of this color pattern, colorway here, just white. And I was a huge fan of those because I love anything with that fur on the shoes. Those I was a, I was a big fan of in 2011. Of course, do not own a pair. The white ones I, I liked also a lot. And I don't wear a lot of black shoes, but this is just completely different uh, than just a normal standard all black, like Air Force One or all black, even Dunk. Um, I think the only black Dunk I would ever want would probably be like the Pigeon pigeon dunk i'm sure there's others but that's the first one that comes to mind but yeah these came out august 22nd uh retail was 100 bucks and i think they're going for around 500 right now in the resale market which is just crazy that you know dunks do that uh and these aren't even the most hyped up uh it seems like they there weren't that many pairs available i'm actually a little surprised that they're not going for like closer to a thousand i mean those civilist dunks going well over a thousand dollars and they probably will going forward but these seemed a lot more limited uh it seems like a lot more skate shops are getting those civilist ones uh and maybe these are releasing on a larger scale but usually they go to skate shops first then we see them on the sneakers app and i didn't see a lot of w's that people got on these so i man i was shocked i, I almost didn't even try because i've been so demoralized by the sneakers app that i wasn't even going to give it a shot but i did and here we go so let me break these down for you guys uh, again here. Of course, they have the uh, the pony hair upper, uh, all black, and then they have a little white hair on the back pull tab where it just says Nike in white as well. And they have a, uh, a little leather liner on the inside here, which is probably gonna be super comfortable. The laces that come laced on the shoe are all black with the standard uh, you know, kind of rolled lace type and they have little gold tips on the end of them for the black ones. They come with an extra pair of white laces, which 
I think come with the gold tips as well. Yeah, those also have gold tips. You have a Bear Brick logo on the top of the tongue. They have a gray outsole, white midsole with a little bit of black pinstriping along there. It, it's a really simple colorway, but man, I, I absolutely love these. Uh, you have another Bear Brick logo on the heel there as well on both of the shoes. And then the insole, if I can take it out here, is super cool. So the insole has, let me just try to get this out for you guys. Man, everything is just so packed in here. Give me a break, Nike. Ugh. Trying to make you beat up my shoe just to take a look at it. There we go. Dude, they lace these so tight. All right, so we got the stuffing out. All right, well, the insole's not coming out, but the insole has Nike SB. I'll give you guys a better look on it, a better look at them. But the insole has Nike SB and the Bear Brick logo on it and images of a bunch of different Bear Bricks they've come out with over the years. Uh, these also did release with their own Bear Brick as well in... I wanna say 100 and 400% on the network app only though. Um, but man, I'm so gassed on these. Super excited to have finally a W, but finally to have a, a pair that I'm excited for. If you guys were able to get these as well, let me know down below. And let me know what you think about these. They're a little bit different, of course, um, but I like that they're not super loud and wild. I mean, the pony hair is wild, but when you're looking at them first, it's just, okay, that's a black shoe with a white sole uh, or white midsole whatever you know a lot of the dunks I've come out with have just been wild like you can't wear them with a whole lot these to me are for sure something you can rock and still turn heads in because they're just a limited new dunk so I'm a big fan um, I love the gold tip on the laces and I love the white laces I will probably throw white laces on them when I wear them because I feel like that's just too much black I think I'm gonna throw some pictures of some of the other dunks along the way. Yeah, they also came out with a, um, a denim pair, um, which is pretty cool, but just not a big fan of either. All white pair, uh, a gray pair, and then they had a uh, like a tan pair where just this back area here was uh, like this pony hair. So just right here had pony hair and the rest was kind of a tan colored, if I remember correctly. I'll try to pop up a picture for you guys as well. So far out of the Medicom and, you know, Dunk SB collabs, these are my favorite. Let me know what you guys think about them. If uh, if you like these, if you like the other, other colorways, let me know what you think. Hope you guys liked the vid. I appreciate you and thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.